What is urinary retention and how does the urethra function? Imagine feeling like your bladder is full but being unable to empty it completely. That's what urinary retention is. It happens when the bladder cannot fully releases urine, which can be sudden and severe or develop gradually over time. In an emergency, acute urinary retention means you suddenly cannot urinate at all, which requires immediate medical attention. Chronic urinary retention is more subtle, with the bladder only partially emptying, often with mild or no symptoms at first. Common signs include difficulty starting urination, a weak or interrupted stream, feeling that your bladder isn't empty, frequent urges to urinate, lower abdominal discomfort or swelling. In severe cases, you might be completely unable to urinate, which needs urgent care. Now let's explore how the urethra plays a vital role in this process. The urethra is a narrow tube that connects your bladder to the outside world. Its main job is to carry urine out of your body during urination. The urethra passes through muscles called sphincters, which act like valves controlling when the urine flows. When your bladder contracts to releases urine, these sphincters relax, allowing the urine to pass through the urethra and out of your body. Proper functioning of the urethra is essential for controlling urination. If the urethra becomes blocked or narrowed due to swelling, scar tissue, or other issues, urine flow can be obstructed, leading to retention. There are many reasons why urinary retention can occur, especially related to the urethra or bladder. For men, an enlarged prostate gland often causes a blockage in the urethra, making it difficult to urinate. Women might experience retention due to pelvic organ prolapse or urethral strictures, which are narrowings caused by scarring or injury. Infections like urinary tract infections or prostatitis can cause swelling and inflammation that block urine flow. Nerve problems also play a big role. Conditions like diabetes, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injuries, or strokes can interfere with the signals between the brain and bladder muscles, preventing proper contraction or relaxation. Certain medications, such as antihistamines or muscle relaxants, can also impair nerve signals or muscle function, increasing the risk of retention. Other factors include severe constipation pressing on the bladder or urethra, anesthesia used during surgeries, or pelvic floor muscle dysfunction. From a bladder health perspective, urinary retention is important because, when the bladder doesn't empty fully, it can lead to infections or irritation of the bladder lining. Over time, these issues might increase the risk of bladder problems, including bladder cancer. Sometimes, tumors near or inside the bladder or urethra can cause blockages that result in retention. Recognizing symptoms early and understanding how the urethra functions are key to diagnosing and managing these problems effectively. Proper diagnosis often involves physical exams, urine tests, and sometimes imaging studies to identify the cause. Treatment depends on the underlying issue and may include medications, catheterization, or surgery. Maintaining good bladder health involves staying hydrated, managing infections promptly, and seeking medical advice if you experience symptoms of retention. Always consult healthcare professionals for personalized care, especially if you notice changes in urination patterns or discomfort. Understanding how the urethra works and what causes retention helps us keep our bladder healthy and catch potential problems early. Thank you.